Hi guys, Andrea Mills here. Thanks for coming over today. I'm going to show you how I make herbal soda. So if you've watched my channel for a while, you know that I like to drink Mountain Dew. And about a year and a half ago for Christmas, Tom got me a Fizzini, like a little... Um, soda maker that you could put the CO2 cartridges in and so I started learning how to make my own soda syrups. The way I made them at first was little packets of Kool-Aid and water and sugar and a few other things. I discovered that doing a packet of lime, lemon, and orange all together was a sort of good substitute for the Mountain Dew flavor that I liked. But then one day I thought, I wonder if I could make my own root beer out of my herbs because I have a pretty big herb collection. And I so I looked up a recipe and I made a soda syrup out of actual root beer herbs to make my own root beer. It did not taste good. <laughs> so I didn't like it. But it did get me thinking that why not just make um, some medicinal soda syrup. So I'm going to show you how I do that. And then when we're done, we'll talk a little bit more about it. So my batch is going to make a couple of gallons of syrup. You can make a way smaller batch than what I'm going to demonstrate for you here. First, I start by gathering all of my herbs. I'm using a couple of tablespoons of each kind, and I'm putting all of the roots, barks, and berries into my big pot, and leaves and flowers are going into a bowl to be used later. Once I have all the herbs I want in my pot, I fill the pot with water, and then I put it on the stove to simmer. I keep the lid on while it's simmering and give it a stir every once in a while. I want it to simmer for half an hour to an hour, but it takes quite a while for the water to get hot in such a big pot. So it takes a lot longer than that. But if I was using a small pot, it wouldn't take very long to get the heat up to a simmer and then let it simmer for um, half hour to an hour. At the end of the simmering time, I put in all of my leaves and flowers. They needed more gentle heat, so that's why I didn't simmer them. I let those steep for about another half hour to an hour strain the whole big batch out into a big bowl. And I can put all of the leftover um, plant material in the compost pile. After I wash my big pot out, I'm going to put the tea back into it, but I need to measure it to see how much I have. So I'm going to measure it as I pour it back in. Whatever I've ended up with, I add an equal amount of sugar. So if you end up with eight cups of tea, then you need eight cups of syrup. And this is, this is what makes it into a syrup. Then I put it back onto the stove with a very gentle heat. I barely heat it up just enough so that I can dissolve the sugar and then turn the heat back off. I like to add minerals to my soda syrup also, so I'm going to add quite a bit of sea salt. It's got about 60 different minerals in it. I'm also going to add vitamin C and I'm going to add some sulfur powder and some Epsom salts. Epsom salts is magnesium and sulfur. The final two ingredients, and these are the original two ingredients for making non-herbal soda syrup, is Kool-Aid packets and citric acid. So I'll put in the Kool-Aid packets. The more packets you put in, the more flavor flavorful the syrup will be. Since I'm making this from medicinal herbs, it's not necessarily going to have a good flavor. If you were using a tasty herb, you might not even want to put in extra flavoring. And the final ingredient is the citric acid. There's already some vitamin C in here, but if you want your soda syrup to actually have that kind of bite to it that commercial soda has, then it needs to have quite a bit of acid in it. So that's what the citric acid is for. So I just keep tasting my syrup until it's got enough in there that the flavor seems tart enough to me. It also, this syrup had a little bit of bitterness, so I added some more salt in to uh, counteract the bitterness. And now I have two gallons of soda syrup that will last me a very long time. To make my soda, I fill my Fizzini bottle with cold water up to the line. Then I put the CO2 cartridge into the little Fizzini machine 
and carbonate the water making sure to give it a good shake when I'm done make sure it's nice and bubbly then I have a couple of bottles that I got at the grocery store that had other drinks in them and I marked on there how much syrup I like to put into it to it so I fill the bottles with the syrup up to those lines and then fill the rest of the bottle with the carbonated water and I put the lids on tight and give them a gentle kind of swirl back and forth to mix them up and that is my homemade medicinal herbal soda a couple of gallons will last a really long time I usually keep one gallon in the refrigerator and it'll last for months in there and then I put the other gallon in the freezer so that it'll stay good until I'm ready to use it some of you have asked me how I had kept my blood pressure down and this was the thing that I was doing I was drinking this soda every day that I made with my medicinal herbs it is a really super long list of herbs I'm gonna put it in the description so if you want to copy it but I don't know what in it is actually doing it or if it's the combination of everything but this is how I was keeping my blood pressure down I haven't had it for a long time because for my birthday Tom bought me some actual Mountain Dew syrup that he got a hold of and so I have I used up all the um, herbal syrup I had and I've been using the Mountain Dew syrup it's about gone finally and I was ready to make more herbal syrup so I want to make sure that I showed you guys just in case you want to try it out for a lot of us drinking herbal teas for medicinal purposes is not something that we necessarily enjoy so this is another method of getting your herbs into you in a way that tastes yummy and I enjoy and like I said it actually did work it was keeping my blood pressure at a very good um, in a very good place when I was drinking this every day. You can also make it like I did originally when I was learning how to make this without herbs at all. You just mix the water. I think it was two cups of water with two cups of sugar and one packet of Kool-Aid and then throw in some citric acid and some salt and you would have, you could make any flavor combinations you want and maybe somebody will try it with some some tasty herbs and see if it's any good without having to add any extra flavoring to it. Mine, it doesn't taste terrible, but it doesn't taste great either without adding some extra flavor to it. So for me, this is another fun way of getting herbs into me and I hope you guys enjoy this. I have a few more herb videos coming out before the end of the month. Um, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, I hope that you'll consider doing that. Tom and I have eight children that we homeschool and we home birth and we're into herbal home health care and things of that nature. We make weekly homeschool vlogs and we have a new theme on this channel every month of other fun things that we're talking about. So I'll see you guys very soon with another herb video and more school videos coming out soon too.